threats against two different high schools in just five days, both of them caught before they could be carried out. The latest involved Talawanda High School, and a student is accused of threatening in a truth or dare game to bring guns into the school. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live with whether he could have actually carried out his threat. Tom? Talawanda student that we're talking about was arrested at his parents' home last night. Basically, what has happened was the information that he is supposed to have been given was overheard by someone and passed along to the school resource officer who regularly works inside the high school building. And investigators, well, they immediately sprang into action. The bus is rolled away from Talawanda High School right on schedule Friday. No problems at all. Today was a normal school day at Talawanda. But what if a teenager's threat during a game of truth or dare on Thursday had actually been carried out at the high school on Friday? This student's my understanding had made up the scenario that he was going to bring two weapons into school and basically be part of a, uh, uh, a mafia, so to speak, with a trench coat and, and some weapons. That school resource officer immediately launched an investigation. Went out to the residence, interviewed the student, uh, searched the home with a consent search uh, just to make sure that, you know, it wasn't viable and uh, make sure that he had no ability to, to carry out any type of threat. So, what did they find? With the search of the house, uh, no guns were discovered. The question is whether the student would have made good on his promise. Talking with the high school administration, um, they don't feel like the student um, intended to carry out the threat. Um, but I think the good news is, is that we have great communication in Talawanda School District. Um, we have a great school resource officer um, who has an exceptional relationship with the Butler County Sheriff's Department. And um, the system that we have in place works. And there's a word of warning to Talawanda or other students about what or what not to do in this day of social media. Any type of game that involves any type of threat to the school, safety, bombs, guns, it's obviously a horrible idea. And anytime we're going to take it seriously, no matter what. Now, I've just learned in the past 30 minutes that that student has been released into the custody of his parents pending a Butler County Juvenile Court hearing. And just to make it clear, nothing happened at this school building during school hours for this whole incident. The system worked just like it did at Franklin High School earlier in the week. Tom McKee, not on your side, live at Talawanda High School.